What really uh, worries financial markets is that uh, the Europeans have not developed an institutional framework for dealing consistently with the economic policies and with the policy making process that is required in a monetary union. This is At Brookings, a weekly in depth look at the issues behind the news. This week, the meetings of the G8 and G20. As President Obama heads for Toronto this month for the G20 summit, bolstering the shaky global economy will be the top priority. While the gathering was already set for a discussion of the overall global recovery, the continuing crisis in Europe has sharpened its focus. Non-resident senior fellow Domenico Lombardi previews the issues that await Obama and his fellow world leaders at the summit. Is it likely that the ongoing European debt crisis is going to dominate this uh, G20 meeting? Clearly, uh, over the latest few months, uh, the European uh, crisis has somehow um, shaped the um, discussion on the uh, global recovery. Um, there are repercussions uh, all over the world, including in the U.S., but not only in the U.S. And of course, the G20 summit will be will provide the key opportunity for the uh, world leaders to exert pressure on the Europeans. First, they will try to understand uh, what's going on, what their policy response uh, is and will be in the coming months. And then they will exert pressure, moral suasion uh, for the Europeans uh, to come closer and to uh, uh, implement uh, some resolute action that has uh, been missing so far. Is the debt crisis just the beginning of more economic problems for Europe? Uh, or has this crisis that broke out in 2008 pretty much ended? The European crisis would have come anyway. Clearly it was facilitated by the international financial crisis. Uh, but uh, essentially what really uh, worries financial markets is that uh, the Europeans have not developed an institutional framework for dealing consistently with the economic policies and with the policy making process that is required in a monetary union. Moreover, uh, structural reforms have been lagging and therefore um, there is really a growth issue in Europe. This is what uh, concerns financial markets and until the Europeans uh, give a plausible and credible response to this growth problem, uh, European markets will continue to worry about uh, the future of Europe. Let me ask you about some specific economies. Spain, Portugal, Ireland, even Britain. And possibly Italy. <laughs> Italy. Uh, th these, are, these are countries that uh, um, may uh, face uh, increasing problems if uh, financial markets decide to uh, stop their ability to roll over their public debt. How the Europeans have decided to address this issue is essentially through fiscal retrenchment. Uh, they are going to cut uh, um, deficits. Uh, they will be front-loading uh, uh, fiscal retrenchment. However, uh, there has not been really a broader, uh, more comprehensive, more long-term response to the issues raised by this crisis. That is how the European economy is going to be able to grow to service and uh, in increasing uh, uh, public debt. Do you think that the, the steps that you've talked about here uh, are going to succeed? It's very difficult to say because the Europeans are uh, at a very defining moment uh, in their recent history. Their recent history has been marked by increasing integration and they have been so far pretty successful uh, at that. Now, uh, what uh, this crisis is telling them is that they have either to integrate further or uh, uh, eventually they will have to disintegrate. And this is clearly something that uh, no one is really looking forward to. My concern is at the moment uh, there is not enough appetite uh, among the Euro European electorate for further integration. What's the impact of the European crisis on the United States? The European economy is really the largest trading partner for the U.S. If the, Euro economy, if the European economy doesn't do well, if uh, the European economy uh, falters, 
clearly this is this means less export opportunities for the American producer and therefore um, this is going to jeopardize the objective uh, set by the Obama administration to double exports uh, in the coming years. Thank you so much for being here. Very informative. Thank you. I'm Ron Nesson. See you next week at Brookings. At Brookings is produced by the Brookings Institution. To learn more about the issues discussed on At Brookings, visit our website at brookings.edu.